Let's remind ourselves about what negative exponents mean. I'm going to look at a cubed divided by a to the 5 in two different ways. In the first way, I'm going to go right back to the basics and write out what a cubed is, a times a times a, and what a to the 5 is, a times a times a times a times a. I'm then going to notice that I can cancel like that, and then what I will be left with at the top, I've just got 1, and at the bottom, I've got a times a, which is a squared. Now I'm going to look at a cubed over a to 5 in a different way, and that is just using that exponent rule you've been using all along. And that's going to give me a to the 3 minus 5, because our rule says when we are dividing, we subtract the exponents, and so we're going to get a to the negative 2. And that gives me a very important fact, that 1 over a squared is the same as a to the negative 2. And that gives us a meaning for our negative exponents. So when we see a negative in the exponent, we must understand that this negative simply means we've got 1 over a to the power of m. A negative in the exponent plays a very different role to a negative that's just a negative with a number. The negative in the exponent tells us we must go 1 over. Let's just make sure you've got this distinction clear. See if you can write the answer to each of these here. Pause the video and try it, and then we'll go over it together. Alright, so this one here, you notice that the negative is in the exponent. So it's just playing the role of telling you you must go 1 over 3 to the power of 1, which is just 1 over 3. Again, here, your negative is in the, with the exponent. So it just plays the role of telling you you've got to go 1 over, and in this case it's 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, which is 9. Here, the negative is not in the exponent. The negative is, not, is playing a normal negative role. So what you do is you say 3 squared, which is 9, and then you've got negative 9.